hi, my name is Petra, if you're new here, and welcome to next video. So this time I actually went out, which is a bit shocking, not gonna lie. It's actually a really great day today, it's Saturday, and I'm up since 7am. I actually left the house at 8, and by 9 I was in central London, so that is crazy and unheard of of me. Anyways, uh, I one of the goals basically for 2024 was to discover new bakeries and coffee shops in London. So on uh, Google Maps, I saved a couple of them. I shared it with my friends at work and we actually decided that we're gonna go out. I have to say it is very important on the weekend to actually go early because uh, past i would say 10 30 everything is packed you need to wait and it's not fun it's not a good experience so first we went to spitterfield markets uh there's actually two coffee shops which uh, i wanted to visit first one was uh, arabica i believe that is a korean coffee shop but that opened at 10 so it was we've been a bit too early so we went to a japanese coffee shop called uh, Nagare Coffee. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. I'm most likely butcher it, but hey ho, it is what it is, right? So, um... There's an ocean between us, blanket is sky. I'm on my way to see ya. Went to this one. I have mixed feelings from this because we got there straight away after they opened. They opening at nine. Um, it was already packed. There been people sitting inside and outside. There's only a couple spots, which I was like, okay, no problem. Um, however, when we ordered, it was a bit like it was a bit strange. I have to say. So what we did, we just ordered uh, one old fat white and one old latte um it was kind of yeah it was weird so we've been waiting there and didn't really know where to stand other people been coming in they also didn't know where to stand really uh nobody really kind of like called our orders when they've been ready so it was just like quick like oh ultra wide old latte but if you're not standing right next to it you would have no idea essentially so that was the downside uh i have to say the coffee absolutely delicious like very smooth no acidity whatsoever it had like a nice nutty flavor i would say so i really enjoyed that one usually when i have a coffee from like a standard coffee shops i get like a little heartburn or you know i can feel my stomach not really agreeing with that with the coffee but this time no issues whatsoever so that's how you know the coffee is a good quality uh then it started raining which wasn't the best so we walked through brick lane quickly because we've been saying like okay let's walk through uh brick lane because it started raining uh a little bit so let's walk through brick lane and see if um if we can actually walk all the way to the next uh, coffee shop or if we need to take a bus. So when we walked through Big Rain, blah, blah, a Brick Lane, we actually went to the bagel shop. So we got the salt a beef bagel with pickles and mustard. One way or another, it's a bumpy ride. It's flying and falling, feel the same in me. Delicious as always, I'm going to that place for a while, at least like once or twice a year since I kind of arrived in London and that place is there for years and years so same quality, always it's a spot only thing which I didn't enjoy is they went, went, they, they went up with prices so £6.50 now for it, so not the best um, after that, luckily the rain stopped, so we walked to next bakery, which is in East London, called Forno. It was about like, I would say 40 minutes from Brick Lane, so nothing too crazy. As you can see here, is it gonna focus? There we go, Forno. <laughs>
Forno is actually a really nice bakery, I have to say. It's in one of these like under bridge uh, spaces. Uh, it's uh, open at 8 on the weekends. Uh, we got there a little bit, I would say, after 10.30. And there was already a queue, so we'd be like, damn, we're probably not going to get a table. We might need to sit outside because there was some space there. We will see. Luckily, the queue went quite quickly because people were literally just grabbing coffee to go and pastries on the go. Uh, so that was fine. Uh, when we actually got in, in uh, there was one spare table, so I took the opportunity and ran to it. And my friend was ordering. Uh, again, we got the old latte and old flat white. Again, really delicious. Like the coffee, really nice, really smooth, good taste. No uh, weird feeling after it. And then we got two pastries. No idea the names. Uh, I will need to research it. Hopefully I can. And I can put it um, as a description when I show you the clip. Uh, one was kind of like a bun with custard. Another one was like a sweet roll with a cream. Both not too sweet, I have to say. It was very kind of like Scandi European vibe. Uh, really remind me bakeries in Copenhagen when I went in September. So yeah, for no, I can really recommend. I really enjoyed it. Good pastries, great coffee, nice mugs as well. Really enjoy those. Uh, and like good vibes, to be fair. Um, probably might be worth to go during the weekday when it's not that busy, I would say. But, you know, for us who work 9 to 5, it's kind of impossible. So get there early to get your table. But then in the same time, it was kind of rotating quickly. So if you wait a little bit, you probably will get a table. Um, what else? After that, we basically walked back and found this cute like plant shop so we had the cheeky uh wander around i was this close this close to buy actually a plant uh but then i decided not to because i will most likely kill it and that's not very nice um so that was that <laughs> between us spending a time you'll be wrong to call then we walk back to Spitalfield Markets, uh, did a little quick run around, it was packed, it was packed and um, not as uh, good with uh, with too many people around, the same as my friend, so we just quickly kind of scattered around, checked a few bits and then went uh, out of it, which was so much better. Then there was Unico. So we had that cheeky look in there as well. I did purchase a bag. Not that I need another bag, but it was discounted to £7.90p, which in my eyes is bargain because I think normally these were like 20 quid and it's like this like tiny small one uh, with the drawstring. They have these, they have, I think it was a very popular, the big version, but this one is just a small one. Uh, it's more like, you know, when you go out on Sunday to do food shop and maybe you decided to get a coffee uh, before. So you're just gonna kind of pack your tote bags, you know, essentials and just go. So it's kind of like that kind of bag. Um, I went for black, they had the black and beige. Uh, I have beige already. The uh, half moon style from Uniqlo and I have it in green as well so I just went for black one that it kind of it believe that it kind of can go with everything um and then what else we do we walk across like the financial district uh through all gate also my old office which is quite nice to see um and then I think, oh yes, we walked to TK Maxx to check if they have any uh, nice leggings and if they have the Korean skincare because some of the TK Maxx's in London or in UK has the beauty of Joseon and uh, I ran out of uh, oil cleanser. So I was hoping they might gonna have some, but they didn't, but that's okay. And after that, we just walked to London Bridge and went home. So, yeah, I think I got back to Tooting Broadway around 2 o'clock and then I went to Primark. I just 
bought this kind of like you know crate for more storage and then uh, I needed a new pajama so I went for this one not the best one it's pink I kind of don't like really pink but this was the only style with the wide leg I hate the cuffs on pajamas so yeah I just picked this one and that was eight pounds so yeah that was that um thinking what else I can tell you for now that's probably it so yeah I have to say quite wholesome Saturday now is almost four o'clock so I'm just gonna be chilling enjoying being home uh in my bed good morning it's Sunday um it's like past 11 I slept in. Uh, I am knackered from yesterday. My legs and my feet hurt. So I think I'm gonna skip gym today. I'm just gonna walk too little to get some steps in. But yesterday I did 20,000 steps. So, you know, I I can take it easy today. Uh, and then I want to kind of recover for Monday to go to gym. Um, yeah, I bet you're probably sick of seeing me in my dressing gown, but it is what it is and yeah what I wanted to kind of uh, talk about is that um, yesterday when I went out I went with my co uh, basically co-worker friend and oh I don't like the co-worker friend it's friend from work it's friend that I met at work and we are friends <laughs> Um, and she knows about like you know me doing the videos and stuff but I felt so uncomfortable and like I felt like I'm annoying because I'm stopping and I want to take picture and you know stuff like that so I was the first one and then second when I get like more people Again, I was very panicky inside and I didn't want to film and I'm kind of forgetting to film and I just did like the bare minimum uh, like snaps and that was kind of it. So uh, yeah, I feel like when I go on my own, I'm a bit more okay with it, a bit more confident, but in the same time, not really. I still struggle with whipping the camera <laughs> outside and filming, but you know it's getting better but if I'm with someone oh, uh, my anxiety and nervousness and just kind of like worrying like hitting another level so I guess that's something I need to work on I guess it's all about basically my like confidence and yeah I know like on the end of the day people first of all might not really even care and second of all I'm never gonna see them again so I should not be worrying about stuff like this, but yeah, for some reason I just I just get really shy <laughs> and awkward as well. So yeah, I need to work on that. I need to definitely work on that. But hey ho. Um also what happened this week, so I had a thought kind of what I'm gonna do, and you know, I mentioned I think a couple of looks back that I really want to go to Japan. And then I was like, no, I'm just going to do Korea. Um, I decided I'm going to do both. I decided I'm going to do both. So I'm going to do definitely a week, maybe a week a bit in Japan in autumn. And then Korea as well for some time. So yeah, I'm excited. I need to book my flight and everything because once it's done again my motivation to save even more money will be on all time uh, top and like priority and then I have something to look forward and then I can start planning as well so yeah exciting exciting so yeah if you're gonna uh, follow me this year uh, I will take you to Japan if touch wood if nothing happens uh, so yeah that's the plan um, it's in February I have no other like trips or anything booked I basically want to just save as much money as possible to have then big uh, trip 
in autumn. So yeah, that's exciting. Um, as I said, I'm just now gonna walk to Little because it's Sunday and I need to do my food shop and then I will be editing this video and that will be kind of it. Uh, obviously I need to do still a bit more reading and after that I need to clean my room as well because it's a state. It is a state. So yeah, let's not let's not make this any longer. So yeah, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, subscribe and I will see you on the next one. Bye.